Toho, if you don't know, is a Japanese bullet hell game where you try to dodge an onslaught of bullets coming towards you while you wait for the opponent's health bar to deplete. But we're not talking about that today. Instead, we're talking about the Japanese titles of these games since I don't really hear many people talking about them and they interest me for whatever reason. Toho has a distinct template when it comes to naming the games where they have a Japanese title that relates to the game and an English subtitle that also relates to the game, but most times is different from the Japanese title. The Japanese Toho community uses the Japanese titles and the English Toho community uses the English subtitles. What I noticed after a year of being a Toho fan was that most people in the Western Toho community don't know what the Japanese titles mean, so I've decided to make this video to explain them. Before we start, I have to tell you that I'm not an expert when it comes to Japanese. I have a basic elementary school level of understanding of the language, so I might make a few hiccups here and there, but bear with me, okay? I'm also only going to be talking about Windows-era mainline games because I don't want this to be too long and I can just smoke this for content if I ever want to turn this into a series. I'm also not going to talk about every single game, but instead I'll pop the translations on the screen like this for the uninteresting boring ones since this is my first time making a video essay and pacing is really hard to do. Speaking of, you're probably tired of me talking about precautions at this point, so I guess I'll transition into the actual video now. From what I can tell, there are two templates when it comes to naming Toho games. The first and most basic one being a title relating to the location of the game. These games on the screen right now are literally just the name of the place the game takes place in. Yep. I mean, Zen names these games basically at the beginning of development apparently, so some of these were supposed to be temporary titles, but he just stuck with them for one reason or another, whether it be because they were pretty catchy or he just simply couldn't think of a better one. And that's how we ended up with these... kind of boring, but still pretty nice sounding game titles. One exception to this is EFO's title, which at first glance looks the same as the rest of the game titles, since Seirinsen is the Japanese name for Minamitsumurasa's ship. But upon closer inspection, you realize that the kanji for the game's title is actually different from the Palakun ship. The game's title translates to Star Lotus ship, apparently, which I don't know exactly what that means, but the starship could be referring to the flying ship that's soaring through the sky that most of the game takes place in, or it could be referring to the UFOs that are all over the place in this game. And according to Wikipedia, the lotus is a sacred flower in Buddhism that represents the path to spiritual awakening, which relates to the story of the game where Murasa and Ko try to free background from a centuries-old sealed sleep. Pretty clever, right? Which is a great segment to the next template. The second template is a title that relates to the plot of the game. Some of these games are very self-explanatory, like the ones on screen right now. But some of these are really interesting, like PCB's title, Yoyomu. Yoyomu translates to Ghostly Dream, which I assume is referring to Yuka's ambitions of reviving the corpse that's dreaming under the side of Arakashi, or it could just simply be referring to Yuka having a goal slash dream. Or it could be a double meaning. Who really knows? The next and final Japanese title we're going to talk about is Lil K's Japanese title. I kept this one for last since I thought it was the most interesting one by a long shot. Lil K's title, Kanjiden, translates to Ultramarine Orb Tale, which is referring to the Ultramarine Orb Elixir that Eren gives you, that lets you use point device mode. The elixir temporarily removes the impurity of death, and allows the user to experience the immediate future. It's based on an actual myth from 7th to 8th century China, where Zhang Yue, a prime minister of China's Tang Dynasty, apparently owned an ultramarine jewel that let the user recount their own memories. Very similar to how point device works in Lol K, where you get to retry and learn from your past mistakes. 
Pretty cool, huh? Some prospective viewers might have noticed that I forgot one game. Which is where I introduced the third and final template, the title that's somewhat related to the game, or the other section, or the I don't know what this is section, belonging to one single game, Hidden Star in Four Seasons. HSIFS's Japanese title, Tenku Shou, translates to Heavenly Jade Dipper, according to the English title wiki. But I have no idea what a Jade Dipper is, and believe me, I tried to figure it out, but to no avail. So I've decided to go with my own translation, Sky Chapter. I know it's a very generic name that could probably fit any other Toho game, but I genuinely don't know what the actual translation is. So I'm sticking with it. So, what did we learn today? We learned that some of these titles are pretty clever and have actual meaning behind them, but most of these were probably temporary titles that just stuck for one reason or another. While Tenku Show sounds pretty bland to me, all of these games do sound somewhat neat. But in the end, these are just game titles, which don't necessarily need to be complicated or have deep meanings. I just thought some of these were pretty cool and decided to make a video about it. And if you want to watch me talk about random things about Toho like this, consider liking the video and subscribing to this channel because it'll motivate me to make the next one. And please leave a comment in the comments section below. It really helps my mental health and makes me realize that I do exist in this world and I'm not just a figment of my imagination. You might be wondering why I suddenly started promoting myself and that's because I'm really bad at writing outros and I have no idea how to end this video so... Uh, I hope that this video was interesting to y'all, and I hope this was helpful in any sort of way. Now see you on my Twitch channel, or whatever my next video is. Bye!